Hello guys, my name is Diego Pacheco and this is another Scala video. Today we will be talking about Scala test containers. Test containers is a very interesting solution which allows us to create containers with several solutions on the JVM landscape. For instance, we can create MySQL, Postgres, Cassandra, Kafka, Vault, Oracle, Neo4j, CockroachDB, Elastic, Influx. Local stack allows us to mock AWS like S3, um, IAM, ToxiProxy. By the way, I have a very interesting video about Kills Engineering ToxiProxy, so take a look. Wrapped and Q and so many more, right? And with test containers, um, there is a module called test, con uh, test containers Scala, where uh, you can use test containers with Scala, so it's pretty uh, handy. And that's what we're going to see today. So I have a SPT project here. And I'm going to run SPT. It is going to be pretty fast. As you can see, I'm running SPT 1.5, Java 16. And the reason why it's going to be fast is because I run this before. So I'm not actually downloading anything from the internet. If you run, you're going to download and it's going to be uh, slower, right? So um, let's take a look uh, on the project uh, and the source code. And then I can run and uh, we can see how it works. So um, the first thing we're going to see is how we're going to proper uh, configure SPT in sense of plugins and then in sense of uh, dependencies. In the project folder on SPT, there is two files we need to touch, which is build.properties and plugins.spt. So I'm going to open these files. So in build.properties, you will define your SPT version and will be 150. That's the one I'm using. And in plugins, um, we will define uh, the Artima super safe plugin. In order for this plugin to work, uh, you need to add the resolver. So uh, you need to create this file uh, in your home directory .spt slash global .spt, where uh, you're gonna define your global configuration. So uh, the cool thing about this is that every SPT project you run gonna leverage the config that are here. So after doing that, you can then define uh, add plugin statement here. And now we can look the dependencies in my build.spt. So I'm using Scala 2.13.6. Uh, we have a test fork through because we want to fork the JVM of the test execution. The version of Scala test is 3.2.9 uh, that we're going to use. I have um, all the dependencies for the Scala test and Scalatic. And here I have a dependence for the MySQL Java JDBC driver. And the reason why I have that is because I want to do some uh, test, Scala test containers test with MySQL. That's why I have the driver here. Uh, then we're going to define the test containers uh, version. I'm using 0.39.9, which right now is the latest version. And then uh, we're gonna add uh, the dependence, the first dependence for the Scala test, uh, test container, and finally uh, the Scala test uh, MySQL um, library. Okay. Finally, uh, I just adding some log4j and um, slf4j uh, config so the test containers uh, doesn't throw annoying warnings. Uh, however. I need to add two resolvers, type safe and Java net, but they are HTTP. And if you try to run this on SPT, it will fail. So to fix that, I put this parenthesis here and then I'm able to call this method on this string called with allow insecure protocol true, which then allows us to do uh, HTTP. Uh, this one here, uh, it works because it's HTTPS, right? Um, and that's it. I just want to show one minor thing. We're not really, really using log4j, but uh, I have a log4j properties here anyway, so test containers doesn't bother. And now I have uh, the spec. So um, Scala test is a BDD framework, right? And uh, I create a MySQL spec. It, it stands uh, any flat spec with four all test containers. And the first thing you need to do is override the container and specify to Scala test um, which um, uh, container you want to use, right? In my case, I want to use MySQL, but like I said before, it could be Kafka, it could be Mongo, it could be Solar, it could be uh, other containers. And then uh, we go to the BDD spec, and then you, you write stuff like in a plain language, like you say, it should 
in our case, then it should do connect to my SQL in and then you put your code. So what we're doing here, the first thing we are doing is a class for name because we want to make sure that the driver, the, the database driver is present. So the container, it has information already is pre-configured. Uh, it has is marked default, so we don't need to do anything. Uh, and that's the beauty of the of these libraries that I'm showing to you guys. The test containers is Scala MySQL. And here I, I am doing the class for name just to double check that the driver is present. In this case, it will be, and we're gonna see the name of the proper JDBC driver. Uh, then the, the abstractions, the, the library, already create a JDBC URL for you, but because I'm not setting up any sort of a certificates, we're gonna have issues then. To fix this, I'm overriding uh, the JDBC URL, and I'm adding this extra JDBC URL parameters, uh, especially on this part of the use SSL files, so we can move on. Since it's not production, uh, it's not a problem, it's not a big deal. Then finally, I'm gonna print the final JDBC URL that we're gonna be using, and what container username and container password are gonna be using. And then we can test the connection with the real container. By this moment, when this line of code run, uh, the container is really going to be up and running. Um, and here I just pass my custom JDBC URL, uh, the container username, and the container password. One important thing to be called out here is this driver manager dot get connection. In a production application, you never would do something like this. You want to use a connection pool like DBCP or uh, TBCPO or um, Hickory. Hickory is definitely the best connection pool out there on the market right now. But here, uh, since this is for tests and I just want to connect to the container, using the driver manager is completely fine. And finally, I just print uh, the connection, right? So that's uh, the code. Now we can run, right? So um, I'm gonna run SPT here, uh, just gonna run compile again, and then I'm gonna run test. But before I run test, I want to show you guys that two containers are going to be created. Right now, there's no container running. So I'm going to run and I'm going to go back to the other tab just to show that the container is going to be there. Okay, so I'm going to keep running. There you go. We see two containers. One container is the MySQL container. And other containers that are running the app with the test spec, right? And uh, here we can see that it's over. And if I do .ps again, uh, we have the app. And the reason why I have the app is because SPT is still running. If I kill SPT and I'll run again, we're going to see we don't have the app anymore. So let's analyze the log. We can see here that our um, MySQL spec was picked up. And we can see checking MySQL driver. We can see exactly MySQL GDBC driver class, which means that the driver is present. Then we can see the connection that was uh, generated. Remember that we append this on the end to avoid some uh, SSL issues since we know we are not setting up any certificates or anything like that. And then finally, we can see that we establish connection with MySQL and then the container is shut down and our test passes. So this project is really, really exciting. It's really use, useful to do integration testing, to do mockings and to do chaos engineering. So I hope you guys like this uh, Scala video. See you next time. Take care. Cheers.